Today I'm sharing 21 organizational hacks that will help streamline and organize your home. We're gonna start off by using one of those boxes. You know which ones I'm talking about. The good boxes that you just can't throw out because they're good boxes. I have a couple of those and it's hard to part with them. So we're gonna take one of these good boxes and we're gonna put it to use. Upstairs, I have a whole bunch of ribbon. I love using ribbon and I have a big variety. So we're gonna store some ribbon in one of these boxes. I put my spools of ribbon in this box. I organize them by color. I was able to fit a whole bunch of spools of ribbon in here. This box was free, it's sturdy, it's stackable. So if you're looking for a cheap, easy way to store crafting items, pull out one of those boxes you just cannot part with and use it for storage. Now, if you do throw your boxes away, I have an alternative solution for you. What you can use is a clear plastic bin. I have a clear bin that's a lot larger than the box and I'm able to fit many more spools of ribbon in this container. What I love about this is that it's clear so I can see what's inside. Again, I organized my ribbon by color. When I put it away, I can see exactly the ribbon that I want because it is clear. I can pull it out, use it, and then put it away very easily. I have collected a whole lot of children's plastic plates over the years. I have a giant stack of them and it just keeps growing and growing. It takes up a lot of space in my cabinet. So we are going to organize those today. And we are going to do it with a Dollar Tree plastic photo frame. This is a 10 by eight size. I removed the paper from inside the frame and then peeled off the protective coating that was on the front. What I'm gonna do with my plates is I'm going to put them back in my cabinet vertically. I press them up against the side of the cabinet and then I take my photo frame and I put it at the front, almost like a bookend. It held these plates upright and it's going to keep them from falling over. Just look at how much extra space I have in my cabinet now that we organized our plates upright. I put everything that I originally had in the cabinet back inside. I have quite a bit of extra space left over on the other side of the cabinet. These Dollar Tree frames are a fantastic way to efficiently store plastic plates in your cabinet. It's that time of year where we send our children back to school. And honestly, I'm one of those mamas that's really sad. I love having my kids home, but they've got to learn and so off they go. One way that we can send our children off peacefully in the morning is to make sure that their clothes are already picked out so that there is no arguing and everyone is on the same page. I have seen some ideas where people use these stacking plastic bins to organize our kids' clothes for the week. We are gonna put our own little spin on this idea and we are going to be using a purse organizer. I have a few of these and they are fantastic for organizing and storing purses. I know these will be fantastic to put a set of clothes in each one of the slots meant for the purse. Because we are working with children, we wanna make sure that everything is labeled appropriately. So we're gonna put the days of the week on our purse organizer. So I'm going to create some labels on my Cricut Maker. I created some labels with each day of the week written out in pen, and then the Cricut Maker cut it out on sticker paper. Now I can take each one of my labels and stick it to the clear portion on my purse organizer. These labels stuck on there really well, and now my daughter will know which outfit is meant for which day of the week. Another thing that I love about these purse organizers is that you can put them down low so that the kids can easily reach them. They can pull them in and out themselves. So if you're looking for a way to keep the peace in the morning when it comes to wardrobe selection, organize your kiddos clothes at the beginning of the week and you will have a lot more harmony in the morning. I use divided mesh organizers in a whole bunch of different ways around my house to help me organize. I've used them for clothes and yoga pants and shirts, all kinds of things. We are going to use some mesh organizers to help organize some other items that tend to get out of control. One of them is my napkins, those paper napkins that you use for a party, you get them out, you don't use the whole stack of napkins so you have all these leftovers and where do they go? 
right? They get wrinkled, they get tossed somewhere, they get mixed together, it's just kind of a mess. So it's time that we organize them efficiently. I took my smaller cocktail napkins first and added them inside the slots. You can add two packages of the smaller napkins into one slot. I organized them by color and then also by size. As I moved further to the back, I added the larger napkins. You can organize them in a variety of different ways. You can keep the classy ones together. You can keep the party napkins together. My favorite part is that you can pick them up and easily move them in and out of your cabinet. Everything stays together. This is a fantastic way to organize your napkins. To go along with our napkins, I have a whole lot of paper plates that are left over from parties, so let's organize those. What I did was I took all of my paper plates and I put them inside of the slots. They fit fantastically inside these dividers. Some other items that I put in here were some party goods, like bags, and then I also put some place card holders in the back. This is a convenient and versatile way to keep all of your party goods in one area, which makes it easier to see exactly what you have. I have some glass plates that have been stored inside these boxes, <laughs> and these boxes have seen a better day, so we wanna organize these glass plates just a little bit better. What I'm gonna do with my mesh organizer is I'm going to stand it upright and I'm going to put my glass plates inside these slots. The mesh helps the plates from banging up against each other and then you can also stack more plates on top of each other because the mesh organizer will give your plates stability so that they won't topple over. Once everything was stacked, I could just pick it up and put it into my cabinet and now I know that my plates are stored safely. It's no secret that I have a whole lot of spray paint. <laughs> you guys know I love to spray paint things. We do it all the time here on my channel, so I have quite a collection of spray paint. We're gonna organize our spray paint cans in a basket. This is a great basket. It's really sturdy and it has handles on the side. I'm gonna organize my paint by color. You could do it by color, you could do it by finish. It was easy to place all of my cans of spray paint inside this basket. It holds everything beautifully. And thanks to the spray paint lids for being color coordinated, now I can easily see which color of paint I want. I can pull it out, I can put it back. I was also able to fit my spray paint handle inside this basket. And because this basket has handles, I can easily pick it up, move it to the place I need to spray paint, use the paint, put it back in the basket, and then place everything back inside my closet. I have been organizing my silverware wrong for years. I just put it inside of my silverware organizer and I place everything on top of each other. I stack it up really high and sometimes, well, more than sometimes, a lot of times these silverware just topple over and they just it just gets to be really messy. So I took everything out of my silverware organizer and put it back in side by side. I was able to fit all of my silverware in the slots, only this time it looks much more organized and neater. I can see exactly how many forks I have, I can see where the spoons are and which size they are, how many knives I have, I can use them and then put them back. I fit all of the large serving spoons in the top recess above, as well as some smaller, more decorative serving spoons. By turning my silverware on its side, I was able to easily organize everything. It looks so much better, so much nicer, and I was able to save space in the process. You can store so much more than cookies in these Dollar Tree plastic cookie jars. I poured some Epsom salt into my plastic cookie jar. I was able to fit half of the bag inside of this cookie jar. And once everything was inside, I took a little measuring scoop and placed it right inside the cookie jar. How fun would this be to set right next to your bathtub? You could also put some bath bombs in here or some small bath soaps. This would be such a cute way to store and decorate with all of your regular bathroom items. The next item that we're gonna be placing inside are some hair accessories. I just took all of the hair accessories that tend to get scattered about and I placed them inside of my cookie jar. This morning my daughter just took the lid off 
she rummaged through, picked the bow out that she wanted, and it was an easy, painless morning, which I thought was fantastic. And the reason she could do that was because these cookie jars are clear, which is so convenient. Now, the lids on these are plain, but in the past, I've actually added some decorative items to the top. I Mod Podge some scrapbook paper onto the lid. You could spray paint the lid. You could add a ribbon around it. There's a lot of things that you could do to spruce up these plain cookie jars. We can also use these cookie jars to help us organize some of our craft supplies. For instance, look at all the bottles of craft paint I was able to put inside this cookie jar. All I did was take the bottles one by one and place them inside of the jar. This is a cute, fun way to store all of your craft paint. I love that you can see exactly which craft paint you need because these cookie jars are clear. I was amazed at how many craft paints I could put inside this cookie jar. Now I can reach in and pull out the paint that I want, use it, and then easily put it away. We can also use these jars to organize some of our paint brushes. I have a whole bunch of sponge brushes and regular paint brushes and I have some thicker paint brushes as well. I was able to fit all of them inside of this cookie jar. The cookie jar is quite large so it can accommodate larger items. Once all of the paint brushes were inside I could just simply pop the lid right back on. We were able to organize a whole lot of craft supplies with our Dollar Tree cookie jar. This is such a fun affordable cute way to customize some storage and organization for a variety of different household items. I have used tension rods in so many organization ideas around my house. Tension rods are so versatile. There are a myriad of things that you can do with these tension rods. Here's one quick easy idea to help you store your paper towels. All you need to do is grab your tension rod and your paper towels and slide the paper towel right onto the tension rod. I placed my paper towel in the pantry. This would be a great temporary solution to hold your paper towels at a party outside. You could put them in the garage. You could fit them in a closet in your crafting room. You could even place paper towels in the bathroom. So if you need a quick paper towel organization idea, these tension rods will work for you. My makeup drawer can get pretty out of control really fast. So if you need an easy way to store your makeup, I have one for you. What we're gonna use are some Dollar Tree photo frames, the clear ones, I love using these. And all I need to do is put them facing downward inside of the drawer in my bathroom. Now I took my makeup and I put it on top of these photo frames. Now I can see exactly where my makeup is. So when I'm in a hurry and I need to do my makeup, I don't have to dig around inside of my drawers to find the makeup that I'm looking for. It's spread out, it's organized, it's streamlined, and I could see exactly what I need. I have a few shirts and sweaters that I don't wanna hang up, so I'm going to roll them instead. There are several reasons why I like to roll these shirts and sweaters. The first item is that rolling your clothes saves them more space in your drawers compared to folding. Rolled garments can be tightly packed together which maximizes space. Rolling your clothes can help reduce wrinkles so when you're folding your clothes and sometimes you get those creases in it, rolling them will help eliminate those creases. Rolled clothes are easier to organize and locate than folded items. You can quickly grab a shirt that you want without messing up all the other shirts and sweaters in the basket or drawers. Rolling your clothes is fantastic when you have limited space. You can see that I'm just rolling mine up and I'm putting them inside of these baskets. I love using these baskets because I can put a whole lot of shirts and sweaters inside. I color coordinated them. So I put my more vibrant colors in one basket and the blacks in one basket and the neutrals in another. If you don't have space in your drawers, using baskets is a functional way to store your rolled clothes. You can organize them in so many different ways like I did by color, or you could even do season or type of clothes. Instead of having a drawer, now I have these baskets that are filled with clothes that I can put on a shelf in my closet. Another organizational tip is to purge your clothes that you do not use on a regular basis. 
that's hard because we think, oh, I'm gonna use that later on, but we end up not doing that. And so going through your clothes and picking out the clothes that are not your size anymore, they are not your style anymore, you are not gonna wear those, pull them out and make some extra space. I go through my clothes and my kids' clothes on a regular basis and I pull out items that they have outgrown or that they do not use anymore. If I cannot give these away to my friends or family, I take them to my local thrift store. This is my thrift store that I go to all of the time. They accept donations. So getting through your closet, decluttering, purging, can help you free up extra space, but it can also help others by donating your clothes or giving them away. You're able to help someone else out that could really benefit from using these items. I use cascading hangers in my closet and they are a fantastic way to help you save space. I've got my skirts on some pant hangers. I've got my shirts on some cascading hangers as well. These are particularly useful if you have a limited closet space or a large wardrobe. Having your clothes neatly hung on cascading hangers makes it easier to find what you're looking for. It will save you time and effort in the morning when you're getting ready. I also organize my clothes in my closet by color. I think, number one, it just looks pretty, but it also helps me to find what I'm looking for because I know what color it is and where it's located. For instance, we are going to be doing a family photo shoot here in a few weeks. It's my in-laws 50th wedding anniversary. We are so excited, but we have a dress code that we're gonna use. So I can go through my closet and say, do I have this color for this family photo? I can see what is available for me to choose from because my clothes are color coordinated. Seeing all of your options within a specific color range, you can mix and match different pieces more effectively. Removing seasonal items from your closet is also a fantastic way to free up space. If you have sweaters that you're not using in the summer or sandals out in the winter that you are certainly not gonna use, you can put them in a different location. You can use storage containers or bins. These can be placed in an attic, a basement, a garage, or even under the bed. Make sure that you label your containers so you can easily find what you need and pull it back out when it's that time of year again. I do this with my dishes as well. I don't leave my Christmas dishes out all year long. I pack those away. That way I have more space for my regular everyday dishes. Rotating rarely used items from your closet and from your cabinets is an easy way for you to keep everything streamlined and organized. I hope you enjoyed these 21 home hacks today. Hopefully one of these ideas will help you to become more efficient at organization. If you do this, you can live more beautifully in a decluttered, streamlined, and organized home. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I can share those with you. Thank you so much for watching.